Thank you, Eric, and thank you guys for this incredible opportunity to tell you our story. I am Yaron, the CEO of Vilgard. This is Rafael, my CTO and co-founder. Justin out there, VP of BD and Sales. Um, we are a company that launched three months ago. How many of you have heard of Billgard? Wow, incredible. So that's thanks to Jim's post and some critical uh, industry acclaim, including being named uh, the 2011 Big Data Startup of the Year by O'Reilly Media and the number two new startup in the world according to TechCrunch Disrupt. Now, the big idea behind Billgard started about two years ago when I, on my credit card, got a scam. And I would have never actually known about it had a friend not contacted me and told me about the very same scam on his card. Now you see, this is the big idea behind Billgard. I wanted to know, why was it that if people out there had the same charge on theirs and were complaining about it, why couldn't I have known about it? Moreover, why couldn't I tell everyone else who had that scam charge on their bill? What if you could get an alert anytime a charge on your bill is flagged by anyone else out there on theirs? Now that might sound vaguely familiar because that's exactly how email anti-spam technology works. You guys know that little checkbox next to every email in your inbox where you can mark an email as spam? Well, that's how the industry weeds out bad emails for everyone, using that crowdsourced methodology. That is exactly what BillGuard does for transactions. Now, the amazing news is the data actually already exists. Millions of people post, post billing complaints online, on Twitter, on complaint boards. Tens of thousands report bad charges to their banks every day. But we as an industry are simply not utilizing that data to proactively protect consumers. That is what BillGuard does. Let's take a look at our first consumer app. This is BillGuard.com, and what you're looking at is a consolidated view of all of my credit cards in my wallet being protected by BillGuard. It takes about 60 seconds to get set up and register a card. By the way, thanks to the folks you saw before, we're using the Yodely SDK for account aggregations. And on the right, you'll notice we go out of our way to keep things as incredibly simple as possible. There's about 10 patents pending underneath this UI. On the very right, you see a simple view that shows you that, in my case, I'm 94% clean, but there's a few transactions that require my review. BillGuard is scanning every transaction on a daily basis. On the right, you see a list of all my transactions from all my cards with a status indicator on the far right. Now, I can dig into a, uh, a transaction and look at its details panel. And what we do is show the consumer a very organized, structured set of metadata to understand what the transaction actually is, including the description of the merchant. Down below, you see our bread and butter. This is the Merchant Transaction Reliability Score. This is based on hard consumer flag data. And down below, you can also get comments or ask comments from other customers of that very same merchant. Now, that Merchant Transaction Reliability Score, by the way, you'll see that on e-commerce sites all over the web someday because we'll be making a badge available to merchants to display to show how safe is it to shop at their e-commerce sites. Let's look at a questionable charge. So up at the top, you see my unsure charges currently, and this is live, real data. This is not canned. The very first transaction, BillGuard's analysis of it, is that this transaction, if you notice, has been flagged by four other customers as a misleading subscription. Scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the comment, there's actually a comment from one of the customers who said, I thought this was a free trial. It turns out they were being charged $80 a month without knowing. And that's the case with me. I'll go ahead and flag that charge. And now I've validated BillGuard's assumptions. This is the power of crowdsourcing. With every new user and every click, the system gets smarter and better at protecting everyone. Now, we can also do quick filters such as looking uh, for transactions by category or amount type, it is blazing fast. But we don't expect people to actually interact with this UI. This is not a social network. We're a security company. And the interaction with BillGuard is passive. You sign up, you can forget about us. We get your attention via email when it's required. Let's look at that. This is my monthly scan report for August. BillGuard has delivered to me a view of my cards with the same quick, simple view and the ability to one-click review each transaction. Let's summarize. BillGuard is making it one click easy for consumers to flag transactions 
that they do not want on their bill. It is scanning the web for complaints about those charges, and it is analyzing millions of transactions from banks. All of that data is being harnessed to scan people's card activity and alert them when their attention is required. The results we launched three months ago are astounding. The system has found a bad charge and validated it on over 20% of the cards in our system, accounting for over $350,000 in hard-earned cash saved by our users. But you know what would be really great? And this is what we're announcing here today. It would be really great if my bank offered me that service, right? Let's take a look at this. This is the BillGuard browser extension. No integration required whatsoever by the bank and no registration required on the part of the user. You simply install the extension, which takes seconds. This is my Amex. Look at the far right corner column. You see BillGuard is now scanning every transaction, line item by line item, over 100 automated tests. It's scouring the web for complaints about those transactions. And in just a few seconds, you're going to see the results of the scan. There it goes. Next to every transaction, you see its status. And let's see if we find that cellulene one. There it is. Go ahead and click on the question mark next to cellulene. And our same details panel with detailed metadata in Amex.com. We don't have a business relationship with Amex, by the way. Let me make that clear. We'd love to have one. But this, zero integration, zero registration. One more thing I want to announce today before my time is up. We are launching a new working group made up of the industry's leading issuing banks, payment networks, and government agencies to create an industry-wide central collaborative database around consumer complaints to protect consumers and to benefit the entire industry. In a couple of weeks, a press release will come out about that working group. Our first meeting is in October. Thank you very, very much for your seven minutes of time.